Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Hadassah Serka. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, September 16th, 2024. Now we transition to our learning about a famous Hispanic heritage figure. Take it away, Zarmel. Buenos dias, Patriots. Hispanic Heritage Month began yesterday, and for the rest of the month, we'll be highlighting people and events of the importance in the Hispanic community. Today, we'll be highlighting the leader and civil rights activist, Cesar Chavez. For more than 30 years, he led the first successful farm working union in American history. He helped human living conditions as well as other rights for farmers. Chavez was so inspirational that he inspired Obama with his Yes We Can line. Wow, he really is an inspirational. Now let's see what our lunch like with Noah. Thank you, Zarmel. Today's lunch is chicken nuggets, turkey and cheese look hoagie, sweet potato fries, cucumber, garden side salad, ranch dressing, mandarin orange, and yogurt and milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is cheese breakfast burrito, frosted cornflakes, grain crackers, fresh orange, and 100% apple juice. Remember, your lunch menu could change at any time. It's like teacher knows if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, now let's go back to Hadassah. Thank you, Noah, that sounds exquisite. Daily reminder that there will be no chewing gum in school, so make sure to spit it out. And same goes for phones. Make sure that they're away and in your bag. Also, make sure to wear a school jacket or sweater. K through fourth will have waffles and dress down if they did 25 Imagine Math and Core 5 lessons. And fifth through eighth, they will have a Sunday party with dress down in return for 25 Imagine Math and I Ready Reading. Make sure to do your instructional software challenges for these rewards. And the top three users will also enjoy the fun. Today, 6th graders will have their fast math test. And tomorrow, 7th graders will take their fast math. I believe in you. Now, reporter Jasmine, please tell us the report on Thursday's game at RASD. Game on, Patriots. Do you like volleyball? Well, last week, our girls' volleyball had a game against RASG. Unfortunately, we lost the first round 11-25 to and the second round 15-25. Our play with the most points was Soraya T. Sands. Good job, Patriots. We'll get the next one. Our boys' fight football also had a game against RASG. We were winning for the first half, 12-0, but unfortunately for the second half, we lost 12-15. Our star player was Brian Soares. Good job, Patriots. Patriots, don't forget to work hard and do your best at the next game. See you next time. Rise and shine, Patriots. Today's weather is 89 degrees Fahrenheit with scattered thunderstorms. Pack an umbrella just in case. In other weather news, what do you think is safer to be in when a disaster strikes? A small town or a big city? Some people may pick a small town because there is less of population and there is less competition for resources. But there is also less resources in general. And in case of an injury, there are less hospital beds. But for a big city, there tends to be more injuries. However, more ready medical attention and money for repairs and disasters. Which would you pick? Now let's go to Giselle for today's birthdays. Thank you, Camilo. Today's birthday boys and girls are Leah Foquet, Aaliyah Gordon, and Tristan Legister. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Hadassah. Thank you, Giselle. Patriots, hear your Pat's expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Cavalita, Ms. McGregg, and Ms. Nelson for getting the correct answer to Friday's daily challenge, which was, what are planets outside of our solar system called? The correct answer was exoplanets. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. What mammal has the most powerful bite? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Everyone on RPTV would like to wish you all a magical Monday. Have a great day!